What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a brand new video. We're gonna be here talking about gear. So I already made a gear guide once and it was one of the first things that I did when the game came out and the only difference with this video is this is gonna be like a follow-up video to that and in a sense I'm not gonna be changing any of the information that I told you in that video so I'll link that down below where I go like fully in detail about gear. In this video I'm just gonna be showing you my gear, right? What gear I use on people and how do I personally gear stuff? And that's uh, that, that's really it. So it's just a follow-up video to give you an example of how I personally gear things and the stage that I'm currently at. Now with gear, like I said, in the video that I already made, it was like beginner's guide number five. I explained the process of gear, the different rarities of gear, how to start it off, what sets to use, on which types of characters, things like that. So I give you the full breakdown of exactly what is going on there. I'm not going to do that here. I'll give you a quick like TLDR, but if you guys want you know, the full like why do this, why do that, that's what that video is for. This video is simply going to be showing you my progression uh, using the gear that I use. And to start off, this is a perfect example. And for whatever reason, um, I don't know, some, some people have this weird concept that it's like starting off with rare and common gear is somehow like not not correct and you should be going straight to SSR gear if you are not a whale dropping hundreds of dollars on this game you will have the most garbage SSR gears known to man if you start off with SSR gear I will bet you that my rare gear this set right here will be higher <laughs> than any SSR gear combination that you could craft together uh assuming you don't spend money on the game and like you just started right like i made this set of gear within the first like week of the game right and i haven't touched it since then all the substats everything about it uh i have not done anything to since this uh since this game came out right as i give you an example it's 34 kcc That being said, I do have stuff on my go through that increases CC and things like that, but it's just a, a point to show you that it's like it is a massive, massive CC amount for a very, very little price. And that is kind of the point. So why do we use rare and common gear? The short end of it is that rare and common gear are very cheap. Why do you not use uncommon gear? Why do you not use SR gear uh, instead? Right, like why is it these two in, in particular? It's because rare gear, rare gear is the final gear in terms of rarity, starting from the bottom, that lets you use gold as a method of re-rolling substats. Once you get up to SR and SSR, they require you. Uh, let's uh, let's do this right. They require you to use gems in order to re-roll or anvils right but instead of gold you have gems as a requirement and that is kind of the the main difference the other reason is it costs a lot <laughs> it's just so damn expensive to do this you, you try upgrading these things the uh, five star plus five and you will burn through like a million plus gold Per, like, probably more than that, to be honest. I have, I've never really, like, sat down and took a look at how much it costs. But it's, like, getting this from, like, beginning to here probably costs, like, a few million gold. It's expensive. Right? And it, maybe I'd say, like, around two million if I had to take a guess. And I'm sure someone can correct me on that. But it, it is quite expensive to do so. It is so much cheaper... It's so much cheaper to actually just take a rare piece from one to nothing, like from one to the ends of the earth, plus th plus five, and also reroll all the substats and get like 14% or something, something bonkers, for around that same amount of gold. That is why we do it this way, because it is so much more efficient. And what ends up happening is, by doing this, I used all my... All my units, when the game first came out, all four sets of gear that I had, 
were some sort of combination of rare and common gear. I had like one or two pieces or one or two sets that were full rare gear. And I can actually just like show you through here. So you can see like full rare, full rare, full rare. And then this one, for example, the king one was full rare and common. And I upgraded it. Those three pieces were me upgrading one piece at a time. And that's a perfect example. This is the only exception. This is my Jericho crit damage set. And that's because I am a filthy whale. So I do have a really, really good SSR attack crit damage set that I give to my Jericho in order to score high during uh, guild boss. But outside of that, this is <laughs> a horrible set to use on a on a daily basis. Uh, this, this set down here, actually, the one on my Merlin, full rare, most actually gives like more damage than up here. But yeah, the point being made is rare and common is the way to go. Why rare on the left, why common on the right? Rare on the left, because the way the way the the stuff breaks down in terms of stats is the red I was gonna say the left side. The left side the left side over here has a higher main stat than the right side. So whatever its counterpart is. And for example, um, it's hard to show unless I unless I do like two pieces of of one side. Right. We'll, we'll show you like this, right? We got rare piece here, and this is a fully clean SSR piece. And you can see here that it's a pretty big difference, right? The fact that this rare piece, like 450 fully maxed out, and it's not even like up to the lowest part of, of this. Now, if we do the same thing on this side, like 127 and 246. Yes, there's a difference, but like this one's giving us like 500 and this one's giving us 127. It's not as big of a difference. And you can see here that the SSR one is starting off at, you know, it can go up to 280, right? But it's starting off at like 250 pretty much. Meanwhile, the SSR on this side is starting off at almost 500, right? And it can go up to 520. And it scales from there, right? Like it starts off at 500 and it goes higher and higher and higher and higher. And that gap becomes bigger and bigger. So th that is why we use common on the right side because the main stat is so less impactful. It's still impactful, it still makes a difference. But it's not impactful enough to warrant you spending so much more currency on it. You're better off just using common gear and then getting good substats. Because you can see here that only costs 5,000 gold to reroll the substat here, whereas here it costs 10,000 gold. So much of a difference, right? It's double the price for absolutely no reason. Oh no, I gotta close my Facebook. Okay. And that is why we use common on the right and rare on the left. Because here, we want to make the most out of our sub uh, out of our main stat but here it's mostly we're talking about the sub stats and that being said we, we want to get a high sub stats now let's talk a little bit about the actual gear sets what am i using so this is not ordered correctly like these are, i have stuff all over the place but for people and i'll just give you some examples bond you want attack defense King, HP defense. Merlin, can go either way to be honest, but I use attack defense on her. Guild Thunder, HP defense, right? And let's actually just like go to my box and I'll explain a little bit more, right? Arthur, either one is fine, but you know, if you want a little bit more depth, uh, he's actually pretty decent with attack defense because he has a 50% chance of crit. He's a 50% crit chance, so he actually crits it. A, a decent amount of times. You had Red Helbrum, attack defense, which I don't have. Galland, attack defense. Counter Meliodas can go either way, but I prefer HP defense on him. Gother, I have HP defense. Hauser, I would go attack defense. So these are just examples, right? And what what determines what you use one or, or one over the other? 
The reason that the reasoning that I use is are they a utility unit or are they my main source of damage? If they're a utility unit, for example, like Gother, you want him there for the rank ups and the attack seals. You care about him surviving more than him doing anything else. King, you want him for the petrifications and the heals. And yes, his ultimate hits like a truck, but that is not his kit. That is just his ultimate. Meanwhile, Merlin, although she's utility, she's a little bit different because her this move scales off of attack. So even though it's like utility and you want her surviving more, it actually makes her utility stronger by going attack. It does make herself a little bit weaker in terms of resistances, but it also means that she can do a decent amount of damage with Sphere Explosion rank 2, because it has a very high multiplier. And every now and then, um, if you have HP defense on her, this this move might not even do damage, and that is uh, pretty unfortunate when that happens. So going back to the gear, that's pretty much how I determine when one person is going to use one thing over the other. Now, the process I use to upgrade my gear. I made my rare gear, my common gear. What do I do about the substats, and how do I go about converting that gear into SSR gear? That is what I feel like people are mostly confused on. Start off, if you're using rare and common gear, uh, I've been lazy, but whatever your main stat, let me recorrect myself, whatever the set bonus is, you want to make sure the main one, whatever, if it's HP or attack, you want to focus on those pieces first. So here you can see that my orb is 14.4%. 14 and this is 12.8 and I can get this higher but ideally you would like this like let's say um, you'd want this around 14% I feel like 14% is uh, the goal the go-to number for rare and common gear and especially common gear because it's so cheap you definitely want minimum 14% and then here aim for 14% I'm a hypocrite uh, it's really I'm just too lazy to do so. I already started upgrading the SSR gear But if you're sticking with this for a while you definitely want to upgrade to 14% and then the rest can come slowly after Keep in mind that the defense even though it's a defense set always on there uh, Defense does not give as much CC The conversion ratio of CC is like Attack gives a one-to-one -one, but like 7,000 attack is 7,000 CC Defense, you don't have as much defense already on your character, and you only get 80% of that value. So, we'll say, like, five, we'll just say 5,000 defense is only 4,000 CC. And then HP is 20% conversion. So, if you have 100,000 HP, 100,000 HP, that is 20,000 CC. HP gives you the most CC. And that is, that's pretty much why, right? Now, HP defense is going to give you the most CC, so you also want to make sure you're focusing on these ones a bit. But let's say you have an attack gear set. If you have an attack gear set, we'll hop over to my Merlin. Hop over to a Merlin. You can see here that on my Merlin, I did focus on that. And then I did these after. But the first thing I did was the bracelet and the ring at the end of the day the hp stuff is going to give you the most but i always tend to focus on whatever my main stat is as a preference now what do you do at this point you understand the concept of rare and common gear you understand the concept of substats you understand how what sets to give your units how do you upgrade from here let's go back to gother with gother what I do now is I look at my substat or my set bonus, it's HP, and I start with the left side. And the reason is how I explained it before. You start with the left side because of the fact that the main stat is significantly uh, more weighted on here, right? Like it's so much higher, so much higher, If you, the, the main stat difference. And that's all I did. I changed it one piece at a time 
I started with my belt. I went to my orb. Now, the other way you can do it is you can start with the belt and then you can go to the bracelet. I personally like doing it this way instead. Uh, I like to like maximize whatever the, the stat is. But I'll do the, my personal ordering for SSR gear upgrading is belt, orb, bracelet, ring. And I will not touch the, the these at all whatsoever until I have four full sets of gear that have the corners maxed out as SSR gears. And once I have the corners maxed out, I will then come back and upgrade these one at a time. And what I do is, whenever I upgrade these pieces, I convert them into gear for someone else. And that's how I have more than, you know, more than four sets of gear, is that it slowly becomes gear for other people. And that is kind of the way I upgrade gear. My next set is going to be this. I need to get myself an HP bracelet, SSR, and then upgrade that. And then I'll go to the ring. Now, let's say we go back to Merlin, right? How would I do it on Merlin? Merlin... You're probably better off going bracelet into belt, then ring into room. Right, so you're going like um, the letter N. Right, you'd go like one, two, three, four. And the reason why you wouldn't do this is uh, the reasoning that I gave before that attack doesn't influence your C your CC as much, and HP influences it the most. So I'm the, the reasoning I'm giving you is that although your attack won't go up as, as much, it's more of a matter of getting more CC out of your upgrades. And that's probably the way I'll go about it for every single character. Uh, let's go back to King now. And King is an example of someone where I did it this way. Where I started off with here, I did Rune, went Bracelet, and now I'm going to do Ring. And then the King is done for now. Right? And I move on to someone else, move on to someone else. I'm going to keep doing that for a while. By doing this, I've managed to get myself above 150k CC without much SSR gear. Because remember, this, this set right here gives me garbage CC. Complete garbage CC because there's so much invested into crit damage. So regardless of this, I, I don't even include this. Right, This is pretty much as good as a, a rare attack set. My only true SSR pieces are on the King and the and the Gother. And that's where most of my CC is coming from. And that's what's driving my CC up. Efficient upgrading is how I do. That's going to be it for now. If you guys want uh, to see any more further informational stuff on gears, on anything, let me know. I'll gladly make a video on it. And until next time, see you later. Peace out.